Alright, is this thing working? Hang on. Yep, alright. <laughs> Another camera to get used to. Alright, we're going to do our first official how-to video with this new Air, or whatever the hell it is, Emerson Sport Cam. Or Action Cam. Alright, we got a scratch in the hood here. Um, the first thing with scratches. If you can feel it with your thumbnail or fingernail, it's kind of deep. Okay, not necessarily through the clear, but it's deep. I'm rubbing my nail across here and you can barely feel it. So that's telling me that we're going to be able to buff most of this out. Alright, we're just going to lightly wet sand it and I'm going to hand rub it. Okay, because a lot of you guys at home don't have buffers. Totally get that. Alright, for me to wet sand this thing and use a nice machine buffer, if you guys don't have it at home, I guess, uh, yeah. So we're going to do this by hand like you guys would do it at home with really no tools. So let me set you down right here. Son of a bitch, where you can really see that scratch. There we go. I think that'll work. I do like this camera because it does have a little built-in stand here. I mean, that just changed the color though. Why did it do that? Alright, that should work for you. So what I got here, I got a piece of 2500 3M wet sandpaper. Right there. 2500. I'm just going to put a little bit of wetness on this piece of sandpaper. Get it nice and damp. Run a little bit of water over the area. And I'm just going to really lightly, very lightly wet sand this. Now I'm using 2500 because I'm hand buffing it. And I don't feel like buffing this by hand half the day. So 2500 is really good for stuff like this. You don't want to concentrate on just a scratch, you kind of want to do the whole area. Now I told this guy, I said I don't know if we'd be able to get it all the way out, but I'll definitely give it a shot. So we're giving it a shot. In a lot of these new cars, the, uh, the clear coat is very thin on them. Now look, and the light's hitting just right, at least the angle I'm at. And the water does look like it's sucking into the scratch a little bit. So that's telling me we're not going to get this whole sucker out of here. But we're going to get quite a bit of it out, so at least it don't stand out like a sore thumb. A lot of you guys that have newer cars, or even older cars, that uh, <coughs> you don't want to pay somebody like me to paint your hood, and I can't blame you, because this work is not free. This video is for you. Alright, now, <coughs> 3M rubbing compound. Can you see it? There's different, there's different grades of compound. This one's like a medium grade. It seems to work pretty well. Now, it's all I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit of this on a rag. Okay? And I'm just going to rub it in. You can go circular. You can go back and forth. It really don't matter. All right, a lot of guys say it does. Maybe it does, but I just do whatever works. I don't know if it's picking up, but you can kind of see where I wet sanded. This, this area here, it looks a little bit different. So that's really where we got to concentrate. If I used the machine buffer, we'd probably be damn near done already. Go back and forth. Once this compound kind of starts to dry up, so when it's really starting to work, you got to push kind of hard. And metal. And it looks like doing this, we're getting probably 70% of the scratch out. I'm not going crazy here. It's a freebie. I 
probably can keep wet sanding it, but I don't know exactly how much clear is on this hood, and I don't want a chance wet sanding through it. Because if you sand through it, then you just opened up Pandora's box. You're going to have quite a mess. Not what I'm trying to do here. I'm going to really start pushing hard. I definitely could have waxed sanded this a little bit more though. <coughs> Big difference, you can still see it a little bit, but that's a lot better than that big white mark that was there before. And then you can just go over it with the wax of your choice and be done with it. Son of a bitch. And like I said, if I use the machine buffer, it definitely would turn out a little bit better and a lot, little bit more of the scratch would come out. Like I said, this one I'm concentrating on for you guys at home that don't really have any tools. So there you are. Hope it was helpful. Y'all have a goody goody. I'm going to get this uploaded once the other video is uploaded. Later. Off. Nissan. Son of a bitch.